In this video today, we'll be trying out the Blue Driver Pro Scan tool in depth. Stay tuned. So hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I test a lot of scan tools and these are scan tools right here, these bigger devices. Some of them are gonna be based on Android and others have their own interface. And this right here is gonna be a much simpler solution. Well, that's the way it's marketed. It's a Bluetooth scan tool that you use with your phone. So you can use this with Android or your iOS and you can connect to this and use the app to go and troubleshoot your vehicle. So I'm going to see how well this works. I also have two other devices here. One is going to be from ThinkCar. It's called a ThinkDag. And this one right here is from TopDon. This is the top scan. On this video, I'm going to stay focused on the blue driver here. And we're going to try this out of the vehicle. Then I'll come back and give this a grade of one through 10 and let you guys know my thoughts. And if this is something that you should go and purchase for yourself. And I'll have a link to the comparison video where I compare all three of these in one video. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave you guys a link down below. So let's go ahead and check out what's included in the box. And then we'll hop it inside the car. So this is the box that it comes in. And this is a pretty small device. And I will be using this with my iPhone. But you can use this with your Android as well. And this is all you're going to go ahead and get. There's a little sticker here and you get an owner's manual. Everything else is pretty much going to be app based. And let's go and connect this to the vehicle and you guys can make a decision for yourself. And to connect the blue driver to your vehicle, it's very easy. Just grab the unit and you want to plug it into this port right here. Yours might be a different color. And 90% of the times it will be located in the driver's side footwell area. And you'll notice that the light turns blue once the unit has power. And to scan your vehicle, you want to make sure that the ignition is on. So you can tell that the ignition is on because the check engine light will be on right there. And for video purposes, I have triggered a check engine light as well as the airbag light. So we're going to see if the blue driver can go ahead and reset and clear these codes. And to see what other information we could pull with this unit. And you need to download the app. You can get it from the iOS or Android Marketplace. And this is the app right here. So I'm going to go and launch this app. And now my unit should be connected. And here's the main interface. I can read codes. I can clear codes. I can view save reports. I can read frame data. So let's just say you had a check engine light on and you don't know what caused it. The freeze frame data here will let you know when it happened and what were the values during the time that the check engine light actually got triggered. So here is going to be the freeze frame data for the check engine light that I triggered for the video. And you can use this information to see what conditions the vehicle was under and try to better diagnose what's happening. We have a smog check function right here. So the smog check function is going to be really nice. And this is going to be one of my favorite features on this unit as they've really nailed it with this particular function because I can tell instantly what's happening and which monitors are incomplete and I get a nice visual representation and I really like this information. So they've done a great job with the smog check monitor. We have mode 6 and mode 6 is basically going to allow you to get raw data or you can get it formatted and if there was a monitor that was not setting or you had something a little bit more uncommon. For example, I'm clicking on the explanation marks and it lets me know that the oxygen sensor, bank two sensor two, has not completed. And I get a malfunction light indicator, basically your check engine light status. This will let me know how long it's been since that check engine light has been triggered and how many miles somebody has driven without clearing it. So I made a video 393 miles ago where I use a different scan tool and you can see at the very bottom that it keeps track of that. So that's really nice. I'm able to go and view vehicle information and I can look at vehicle specification and the VIN number is listed at the top as well. I, this recall checklist is actually pretty nice and it gives you a snapshot potential recalls and right now it's not working. That is not a good thing. Service bulletins, these are TSBs. So if you were having an issue with something on the brakes, you can check out all the different technical service bulletins that have been posted to see if your problem relates to that, and maybe you can get an easy find. So they've done a great job with organizing this information. And we also have a maintenance schedule. 
this does not work as well. So we have a few menus that are basically dead ends. And on this screen, I can also scan the VIN number. And when I try to do that, the phone just keeps changing the orientation because the barcode is sideways. So when I try to scan my barcode, it does this. And then when I go like this, then my phone will change, will tilt. That function doesn't work too well. You have to t turn off your auto rotate button on your phone to get that to work. And we have a service button. And on the service button, I can go ahead and clear oil reset. And it gives me the procedure on how to do this through the menu of the car. So I'll have to use the buttons on the steering wheel to do this. And it gives me the standard procedure to go ahead and handle any tire pressure monitoring system issues. So this is the main layout here. Let's go to live. And under live, check the vehicle speed and also the RPMs. And it lets you know the fuel system status at the bottom there. And at the very bottom, the last option that we have is going to be user manual, support, settings, update sensor. So I've gone through and actually updated the sensor when I first got it. Let's see if there's a new update available. So the scan tool is up to date. And we have an odor sensor icon and rate and review. So let's go through support. One of the reasons I think this particular unit has so many reviews, and most of them are positive. I think it has over 50,000 reviews on Amazon. And I'll leave you guys the link. You guys can check it out for yourself. I try to go and do a live chat with them. And the times I actually try to do the live chat, I couldn't get a hold of anybody. So... If you guys have a different experience, let me know. I did call the 800 number that was listed there, but that just helps me connect to the vehicle. It doesn't give me anything specific relating to a repair. So let me go ahead and quickly show you guys the live chat feature so you guys can see it for yourself. So this is the live chat feature, and you guys can see the timer right now. It's 421, and I am in the central time zone. And unfortunately, the last three times I have tried, I cannot get a hold of anybody. I don't know why they're advertising 24-7 support because this is not 24-7 support. But let's go and read those codes again, and we'll do a full system scan here. So we'll do all systems modules. And yes, we are at 3%, and this is very slow. I have had scan tools go and do this in under 30 seconds. So this might be a little bit more time consuming. And one thing I wanted to mention while you're doing this, you can go ahead and swipe out of the application, at least on iOS, and go back to it, and it picks up where you left off. So the scan can run in the background, which is kind of nice. So this allows me to go ahead and type in the miles, and it did not retrieve the miles itself, as right now the miles of my vehicle are 110,811. And that is not the miles that's listed here, but I could type these in. And these are all the codes that have been confirmed. So we have two codes at the top that are confirmed, two pending codes, two permanent codes. You guys are buying this scan tool because you need help with emissions related issues. I have a whole playlist on emission components and how to do a drive cycle. And I break down permanent codes because you cannot erase them and clear them. You have to basically unlearn that code and we have the airbag code that I told you about and we have the two engine codes here so let's see if we can go ahead and just clear everything with an easy swipe let me hit clear let's see what happens okay so it went through and scanned everything successfully and the two permanent codes did not disappear because those cannot be cleared and this is how this particular scan tool works and all right guys you guys can see now that the check engine light has cleared so we have no check engine light right there if you guys are liking this video make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up as i'm really trying to do my best to give you guys a good experience i got the microphone right here i got dual cameras going on and one of the things that i wish that blue driver would actually do here with the light is when you first plug it in is to make the light red and when you go and connect that the light will turn blue i thought it didn't have a red led but it does i i don't know why they don't utilize that but nonetheless i'm going to go ahead over to the bench we'll give this a score and i'll tell you guys my final thoughts now that you have seen the unit in the car i showed you guys the interface and what the unit can do and some of the things that it's supposed to be able to do but it can't let's go ahead and talk about the unit itself and if this is something you should buy, 
So let's talk about the fact that it's an app. And so yes, it does work for Android and iOS. The login process and getting the setup is very easy. The auto VIN does work. One of the features that this unit lacks and one of the reasons why it's going to come in last place compared to the other two units is this is not an active scan tool or a bi-directional scan tool. So it has no support to go and send a command to the vehicle. So for example, on this particular Bluetooth, device you can send a command to go and roll up the windows that can be done so if you're troubleshooting your window and you don't know why it's not going up and down you can easily eliminate the fact that the motor is bad because this can send that command to roll it up and it'll go up this cannot do that so this does not have a lot of those bi-directional functions in fact it has zero bi-directional function support so in theory this is going to be a good scan tool slash obd2 reader and this is an obd2 reader guys this is one of my favorites and i normally don't even like using these anymore unless i'm getting ready for a smog test and i just want to check the inspection monitors as if you buy a modern day vehicle without a real scan tool like this you can really get stuck with a three or four thousand dollar problem because it could have codes for transmissions and other components that these particular tools may not pick up like this obd2 reader so that is a major flaw of the blue driver this is basically a very fancy obd2 reader that has some scan tool support but it really doesn't have the support that's advertised where you can go and chat with somebody and get your issues resolved and the fixes that it does give you they're pretty wide. So if you have a bad catalyst, it'll give you about four or five different repairs. And those repairs can cost you $4,000. Well, if you're going to go and spend $4,000, you might as well take it to a shop because they might actually get it fixed. Whereas with this, you're just going to go fishing. So the support they actually provide is not great. And maybe I'm the unluckiest person in the world, but the last three times it has not worked. And I show that you guys that too. It's four o'clock in the afternoon here. I've tried on a Saturday and I've also tried on a Monday morning, except for if you call the number, they'll show you how to slide this into place, which I showed you guys how to do. And another thing that you didn't see on the app was graphing. This has no support for graphing. And since it's Bluetooth, it's kind of nice because you can walk out of the vehicle and be in the comfort of your garage when this thing is scanning because it takes a pretty long time to scan. And one of the things that I did want to mention, if I forget about it, is since this has no bi-directional support, if you wanted to work on your rear brakes, you cannot go and service a lot of the new vehicles that have the electronic parking brakes because this cannot send a command to the rear braking system to go ahead and disengage the caliper. That could be a really big drawback of the unit. And there's going to be many other systems that this cannot go ahead and activate it. We talked about the speed. It was very slow. Graphing was none. The inspection monitors were amazing on this. This has the best data for inspection monitors, mode 6 and mode 10, which is going to be for the permanent diagnostic codes. This is amazing for that use. And to be honest, guys, this particular tool right here does even a better job. And this is going to cost you about 30 bucks if you were just looking for the inspection monitors. We had really good on-screen directions with the blue driver. The scan tool from the times I have used it has caused no damage to my vehicle and it's a one-time purchase. This is the real benefit of the blue driver versus these other scan tools right here. These have a yearly fee. This one costs double the amount of these particular scan tools, but it includes lifetime support. So that is definitely a big benefit. And if you only own one vehicle and you have no major issues with it, and you're not gonna go do a lot of diagnostics, this might be the scan tool for you. And if I was to go ahead and give this a random fix grade of one to 10, I would go ahead and give this a six out of 10. And even though the blue driver offers a lot for what it does, I honestly cannot give you guys my personal recommendation on this because I think if you're going to go and buy a modern day scan tool and not just an OBD2 reader, then go ahead and get a scan tool that has bi-directional support. And if your vehicle is older, you probably don't need something like this. And you might be okay with one of these OBD2 readers instead. Before we wrap up the video, I wanted to share some final thoughts with you guys. As I know these videos can become very long, but before you spend your money, you really got to know what you're buying especially if you want to keep from having to pay a shop hundreds or even a thousand dollars for diagnostic fees 
if you cannot figure this out yourself. So here's the blue driver. We're on the Amazon page. And one of the things that you'll notice here is there's going to be a lot of hype here. And whenever I see hype like this, that it can do all this stuff and no other scan tool can, to me, this is complete bogus. And it, unlike a regular OBD2 reader, which works on a vehicle's 1996 and newer, 99.9% .9 of them, this actually has a lot of limitations. So sometimes it will not work on a Mercedes Benz unless it's 2005 and newer. That could be a little bit of a drawback. And when they show you a nice interface like this, just know you're really buying into the hype because this is a gimmick. This has been around such a long time on the Torque app. Don't buy into this. It does not look that cool and it is useless information that your car already displays to, for you. This is literally the best feature on this particular blue driver and you can get this feature from a $30 OBD2 reader. I'll leave you guys a link to that in the video description box down below. And as you can see, there's a lot of good reviews and there's some bad reviews too. And I wanna show you guys these other reviews down here that are the one star reviews. But before we do that, let's see when this was actually made. Now, if I'm reading this right, the blue driver unit has been around since November 9th, 2011. That is a very long time for a piece of hardware to exist. And that explains the speed of this, why the unit is so very slow. But let's check out those reviews now. And this review right here kind of summarizes what I felt about it. It was a very slow device, nowhere near what it is advertised. So again, you can use the Torque app and use get this ELM327 for very cheap instead of having to pay $100. That is actually a decent OBD2 reader with the Torque app. And here's the final review we're gonna look at. It's a code reader, nothing else. This is my exact feeling about this unit. And if I didn't mention anything in this video or you didn't like my viewpoint, please let me know in the video comment box down below. If you've had great success with this, please share that with me as well. So I hope I answered some of your questions in this video here. And if you guys wanna check out the Think Car, Think Dag review or the Top Don Top Scan, I'll leave you guys a link in the video description box down below. I did purchase this unit with my own money. I'll have links for you guys in the video description box down below. Make it a great day. Thank you.